And 50 days away from the great American eclipse, the moon will pass over the sun, creating a path of totality not far away from Louisville. Well, tonight, meteorologist Christina San Juan explains the different types of eclipses you can see. April's big event is just one of four types of solar eclipses. Let's break it down. First up, the spectacle we are all looking forward to, a total solar eclipse. It occurs when the moon completely blocks the face of the sun by passing between it and the earth. People in the middle of the moon's shadow will experience a total eclipse, meaning the sky will darken as if it were dusk or dawn. They'll see what is called the sun's corona, or outer atmosphere, which is usually blocked by the sun's bright face. Next up is the annular solar eclipse. This is what many folks saw back in October. The annular eclipse happens when the moon passes between the sun and earth, but this time it's at its furthest point from earth. That means it doesn't completely cover the sun, but creates a dark disk surrounded by what looks like a ring. You do need to keep your eclipse glasses on to enjoy this type of eclipse. Depending on where you are, you may experience a partial solar eclipse. This happens during both a solar and annular eclipse when you're outside the area covered by the moon. You'll see part of the sun covered, giving it a crescent shape. Then lastly, a hybrid solar eclipse. Because the Earth is curved, there are times an eclipse can switch between an annular and total solar eclipse as it moves across. The next one of these won't be until 2031.